Hello, welcome to my 3D animation channel. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to import uh, UDM textures to Terragen. Let's get started. Um, I have Terragen open here. Uh, Terragen is a software where you can create large scale environments. Um, I was working on a personal project uh, which involved a castle uh, which had multiple UDMs. Um, and I was uh, trying to figure out how to import my UDM textures to Terragen. So I did some research and figured out a way to do it. Um, to simplify this uh, tutorial, uh, I created a, uh, an object with three side face. I'm going to turn off the texture uh, with the three side face and UV it in a such a way that it has uh, multiple UV tiles. So uh, this is 1001, 1002 and 1003. I also went ahead and uh, textured in Mari in a such a way that it has numbers in the specific UDM. Um, so uh, if I go here. So you see, um, for the first UDM I um, textured as 1, for the second UDM I textured as 2, the third UDM I textured as 3. Uh, so in Maya, when you create a shader and plug in the textures, uh, the plug in UDM, UDM textures from Mari, you only pick one texture and you say you are UE tiling mode to UDM Mari. So it picks up three textures and plugged in my object. Whereas Terragen doesn't have this feature, so we have to have a way to go around it. Um, for example, if I export this OBJ to Terragen, so I'm going to go to Terragen, File, Import Object, Wavefront OBJ, and I'm going to call the pyramid. And make sure you click no because this is not an XFrog object, this is a my object, so I'm going to hit no. So you see, I got my pyramid object right here. So it's kind of like showing us a, like a bounding box. If you want to see your object, you go and click here and say, show us smooth shaded. So if I want to go into the shading network, which I uh, exported from Maya. So if I go in here, so there is only one uh, shader and one shading group. And there is um, there is no way of showing uh, the textures. We we can specify UDM in our shader, but whereas the UDM of one zero zero one is applied to all our faces, you can literally see in our three D view it kind of ascend everywhere. So if you hit render, okay, let me change it to uh, the lower resolution. By default, it, it is 800. I'm gonna set to 640. I'm gonna render it. It's still processing our texture there. You can literally see we can see the object with our textures on it. But the only problem with this, you can see only uh, the textures of the first item in our object. So how do you uh, get around this? In order to do that, what do you have to do? So this is another file. So what I did in this file is the same object with the same UV tiles. So it's 101, 2 and 3, right? So what I did different in this object is, so if I uh, map my shader, so you see here there is test 1001, uh, test 1002, and pyramid 1003. So what I did is I, I went to the UV tiles and I selected the phases of the first UDM and I right clicked on my object and I created a new Lambert shader. So I called it uh, P1001 SHD. So I did the exact same thing for my uh, second item too. Favorite material, Lambert, and P1002 shader. So this one, same thing. 1003 P103 shader. So then you go to file, export selection, and I call it pyramid underscore UDM. So 
I'm going to import that object in our same file so you can see the difference. So file, import where front, permit item, and I'm going to open. I'm going to click no. So now we have both objects. I make sure that this is disabled. And now if I go to the sharing network of my object, you could see it's P1001, P1002, and 3. So now I know that um, if I go here, this is my first item, so I can plug in the file here. So I'm going to plug in my first item. I'm going to say my diffuse to 1. So you see literally in the 3D view, uh, it assigned 1 on my first item. So I'm going to close it. So I'm going to go here, diffuse to 1. And my second item, and you could see in the 3D view, it kind of changed to two here. So I'm going to go here, uh, diffuse to, to one, I'm going to go here, and three. So if I go to my 3D view, you can see it assigned it um, to prove an example. So now I'm going to render this. So now it's going to look different from our uh, previous object. So this technique doesn't work on just on faces. It also work on multiple objects, but make sure you combine it after you assign uh, each shader to each tiles. So now you can see uh, there's uh, two in my uh, second uh, in the second item, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do another render to show you guys like it works. It's processing it, but you can see still uh, see the textures. There you see, there's one there, and two is on the other side, and three is on this side. Um, so this is the technique I use for my castle project. I'll show what I did exactly there in my castle project. So this is my castle um, where I created in Maya and texture and substance. And I can show you the UDM tiles I used. I think there are like exactly 12 or 15 tiles in my uh, castle castle object. This is multiple objects combined into one geo. But I also uh, did the exact same thing. I selected this face and assigned um, 1001 to each shader. So you can see there are multiple uh, tiles, uh, multiple shaders assigned to each of my UV tiles. So if I go to TerraGen, and you can literally see um, there's a shader for 1001, 1002, and 1003. So if I named in a such a way that uh, with the multiple UV tiles, so I can easily plug in my uh, textures according to it. Like here, see, like for this one, I plugged in my 001. And the diffuse and I also plugged it the reflection map on it and the displacement so I can show you a render um, how it looks so look here so it kind of like rendered uh, my multiple items into one object um, so this is how I uh, this is how you import multiple item textures into TerraGen thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any questions regarding this video uh, write me at 3dmissary at gmail.com or comment below if you really like this video tutorial, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.